what we are going to do for this one is we're going to post a Teams message when we receive or flag an email in our Office 365 environment. So I've already, again, I've searched for it and found the specific automation that I'm looking for. So I'm gonna go ahead and click into this automation. And again, it's gonna ask me to connect my Outlook or my email and my Teams environments into uh, Power Automate. Um, we'll give it a second here, it's kind of thinking. And you can see now that I've already used a flow for Microsoft Teams, that it is already a valid connection. I'm gonna go ahead and click continue. It's gonna ask me to, or it's gonna attempt to sync the Outlook email and it looks like it worked just fine there. So it's gonna let me continue. If those are external apps, you may have to click that plus button and sign into an account externally. All right, so this is a bit more complex of a flow, right? We've got our Outlook aspect on top of getting a new email. And then we have what it does if the condition of that email that we set makes sense. So for this example, uh, we are going to use the inbox folder and I'm just gonna show you this. I'm not gonna make these changes to complicate this flow, but you can configure this to choose the type of email, um, Cool, so it looks like this refreshed for us. And so, um, like I was saying, when you are receiving a new email, you can add a bunch of conditions here, right? So you can say who that email is sending to. So a good example might be, um, let's say we wanna set up a flow to post a message in Teams every time the entire sales staff receives an email, right? So maybe you have sales at contoso.com is your email address for the sales team and six or eight people get that email um, and you're on that team. So every time someone sends it to that address, you want this flow to run and post a message in the sales channel or the sales team saying that we've gotten a new message. Um, I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to modify these fields just for sake of simplicity's sake here today, but you can go ahead and do so, right? So you can do the exact opposite. You can choose a from sender, right? So maybe you want this flow to run every time you receive an email from Eric at swicktech.com um, to let you know you've got a message from Eric on the Teams channel. Um, and then you can adjust the importance, you can make it flag only on items that are attachments, so on and so forth. Again, I'm not going to modify those options just for simplicity of showing you how these flows work, but you can go ahead and go in there and do those. Um, and then once you've determined what folder and what other modifications you want to apply to the incoming emails, you can then move to the team step. And so the, the flow here is if that email meets those criteria, go ahead and post a message in Teams. If it doesn't, we're going to do nothing. You could also add an action that does something else or posts maybe a different message when it doesn't meet those requirements. But that would be a little little over the top to receive those messages for all of your emails. So um, then we can go ahead and say what team we want this to post to. So in my example, like I said, we're gonna have this post to the sales and marketing team, and we're going to have it posted straight into the general channel. Um, and then uh, in the message again, we're gonna have the option to change this message field and add different pieces to it. So you can add just text into here um, or you can maybe change, maybe you want the subject to show up in here uh, and then we'll space it out and a preview of the body of the email. Um, you can you can see here, you can add like the importance field. Um, keep in mind, this is when you're adding these tags, they're just going to show that information. So just because you choose the subject tag here, it's not going to explain what that information is in Teams. And so you may want to go in and type in the word subject ahead of this so that it makes sense. Um, and you can add other text and change this content as you see fit. Um, for this example, we're gonna just leave it at that and we'll go ahead and save this. All right, so now you, as you can see, saying our flow is ready to go, we recommend you test it. Um, so you could run the test up here. We're going to just go ahead and, and give it a shot. Um, and we'll go and have someone send us an email, Eric and or Ryan, if you don't mind. 
Um, and while we're waiting on that, I'm going to jump back to the previous flow. So you may remember we said when those tasks are created in Planner, um, we want you to post a notice or a message in Teams. And so you can see here, Miriam uh, is my account. So that's who created this flow is posting this message that there was a new task created and it's going to show you the name of the task and the due date that was marked on that task. This is this is the information that we posted or that we put in that flow. So keep in mind as you change that message content, it's going to change it here. And then it looks like I just received a new email from Alex. And so that will post in our sales and marketing channel, which I don't see here. Oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, and so again, another example, this does take a moment or two, but we'll come back to this channel to show you how those messages post in it.